and community hoping for answers soon in the death of a 13 year old killed in an armed confrontation with Chicago police tonight. A vigil was held in his honor. WGN's Dana Rebick following the story and joins us live from police headquarters with more. Good evening. Adam Toledo's mother, the uh, shooting victim in this case, was not at the vigil tonight. But through an attorney, we learned that she has not yet viewed the body cam footage of this incident. She said in this statement that she feels the community is unfairly characterizing her son as a, a gang member and someone who lived a life on the street. She said that was not the case, that he was well loved and supported by his close knit family. My heart is heavy. We've been out here looking for the Adams. An emotional Aaron Revis, a street outreach member from New Life Community Church in Little Village, who tries to pull teens away from gang life. Let them all go. He joined others in the community at a vigil tonight for 13 year old Adam Toledo, who was shot and killed one week ago by Chicago police. He was goofy and always cracking jokes, making everyone laugh. He loved animals, riding his bike. On March 29th, just after 2.30 in the morning, officers responded to a shot spotter alert of eight shots fired in the area. Once on scene, they saw two individuals who fled, Toledo armed with a gun. A foot pursuit ensued and led to a confrontation. The officer shooting Toledo in the chest. A gun was recovered at the scene. Officers must make split seconds decisions when it comes to the use of deadly force, and that is a heavy burden. Police arrested and charged 21 year old Reuben Roman, who was not armed with resisting arrest. He gave a fake name when asked who Toledo was. We lost considerable time trying to identify Adam because of the wrong name. We fingerprinted the deceased Adam three separate times and there were no matching records in any database. Detectives say they searched closed missing persons reports and found one that matched his description. Toledo's mother filed it three days before the shooting. She told police her son had returned home, but then left again. Let us not forget that a mother's child is dead. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says this incident is hitting her on a personal level. Her daughter is 13, and today she spoke about her brother, who got involved in street life around the same age. It took over 40 years many lengthy jail sentences, addiction, and many other dark times before that boy became a 60 something year old man who now struggles every day to keep his life on track. Lightfoot vowing to dig deeper, wanting the weapon police found traced. We are actively at work, uh, we'll investigate, and I, I am determined we will find the person who put this gun in Adam's hand. We will not be deterred by threats from gang members. Police Superintendent David Brown said today that he has viewed this body cam footage, but he would not comment on it due to COPA's investigation. The officer involved is on routine 30 day administrative duties. Mayor Lori Lightfoot said she has not seen the video yet. She wants Adam Toledo's mother to view it first out of respect to her. Live at police headquarters, Dana Rebick, WGN News. More to come. Okay, Dana, thank you. And in response to